Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Exodus chapter 5 verse 7, Romans chapter 2 verse 3, and Acts chapter 3 verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you for showing us, warning us, letting us know things before they even come. We say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Exodus chapter 5, verse 7. You shall no longer give the people straw to make bricks as in the past. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. So we had this exact scripture in the previous conflation in a different way, but it has a similar meaning um, when it stands alone. And so um, here, um, the Lord was speaking to me about the oppression of the Pharaoh, right? When the people were speaking of deliverance, we're speaking of worshiping their God, um, we're speaking of coming out of bondage, the the Pharaoh was trying to speak more oppression, heavier oppression, heavier uh, bondage, right? And so that is what is going on in the spirit right now. As people are beginning to give free, the enemy wants to speak more oppression. He wants to cause these new age practices, these, these demonic witchcraft spirits to increase so that they can cause heavy your oppression and stop the children of God from being set free. And so to walk in the fullness of God, you know, we need to rid ourselves from the ways of this world to be purged, right? To, to come out of these things. And many young people don't even know right some of them just don't know they are walking in the ways of darkness by mixing in things of god with things of satan and they don't even know it right they're trying to come into a knowledge of god but they're they don't realize that they're falling for a trick of the enemy by mixing in um new age practices that god considers um detestable and so these things are continuing their bondage rather than allowing them to be set free. And so here it says, you shall no longer give the people straw to make bricks as in the past. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And so um, there it, it is just speaking of continuation of oppression when the people want to be made free. Um, a heavier oppression, a heavier load um, in bondage. All right. And so the second verse that the Lord gave me was Romans chapter two, verse three. Do you suppose, oh man, that you who judge those practices uh, that you who judge those who practice such things and yet do them yourself, that you will escape the judgment of God. All right. And so um, this is speaking of people who are judging others, right? Um, and yet they're walking in ways that are not of God as well. Why? Maybe they're not judging them um exactly about um maybe they're not um doing the exact same thing but they're walking in sin how can you be walking in sin doing the same thing well you're walking in judgment of others god doesn't want his brides to judge one another you can't walk in sin and and in the sin of judgment and think you're gonna get away and you haven't even shown any mercy to these young people, these people who are in need and, and, and lost in these occultic practices, things that they think are, are a part of, of releasing them and setting them free, but they're confused. They're in the ways of the world and trying to diddle dibble and dabble in the things of God and and there are brides out there that are accusing them rather than helping them and setting them free um they are accusing them and and I I, I feel convicted about this because today in um 
in a restaurant there was a young woman she was in great bondage and she was leading others astray and she had a lot of new age mixed in with some other stuff and instead of rebuking that witch in that witchcraft spirit um that was on this young lady I just chose to leave it alone and go away and I felt convicted by this because I feel like this is speaking of things like that right this is speaking of not speaking to that spirit right leaving people in oppression and leaving them in bondage that is akin to sin right you don't want to be judged for that you don't want to be oppressed for that you don't want to have your own issues to deal with because you've left someone um, out of the light right you have the light of God we are to shine it to towards them and I feel like that's what God is wanting us to do we don't walk in judgment of others we walk in freedom he whom the sun sets free is free indeed we don't want to practice um judgment yes you you may not be practicing exactly what they're practicing but when you're practicing judgment you're walking in sin and sin is sin rather the sin is a sin of a of oppressing someone with words and cursing someone with words or doing witchcraft that is still sin right so we don't want to oppress other people with words speak down or negative about them because they are in bondage um we need to shine the light of god on these people who are lost we need to shine the light of Christ on our brothers and sisters because some people just don't know they've never actually read the word of God so um, you know they might be carrying a Bible but that doesn't mean they know what is in the word of God and if you hear it spewing forth and you know that this is a demon and you know that this is is not of God and someone is being led astray it is up to us to shine the light and I'm so thankful for my husband because he was doing his best to shine that light and and we just have to to do that we cannot walk away from it because it seems like such a, a great task right we have to confront um the things that God is is pressing us to we have to to call it out when the spirit is saying call it out we have have to to um be a light to the darkness right if someone is walking in the way of darkness and you snatch them out of it then you are snatching them from hell fire so the third scripture that the lord gave me is acts chapter 3 verse 11 while he clung to Peter and John, all the people utterly astounded ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's. All right. And so this is speaking of the the um, miracle that occurred outside of the temple in the portico area and and how all of the people came running after the miracle had occurred so peter and john here actually represent um and uh, actually represent the wise bride and then the um the 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 people who ran together to figure out what was happening represent the unwise bride why because the unwise bride in this this um foreshadowing is those who are in the temple they look like the bride right they look like they are in the right place they look like the um those who are chastened but but when they come rushing out they don't know the power of God they didn't they didn't know Christ was the son of God right they didn't know they they weren't operating in the fullness of God they weren't operating by the spirit of God they didn't even know that the Christ the Messiah was was Christ Jesus the one whom they crucified right and so that is they were 
utterly astounded at this great miracle that had occurred. And so Peter and John represent the wise bride and healing of the bride. And so Peter and John here are, are supposed to represent um, a reflection of the revealing of a bride versus those who came rushing out of the temple who should have been the bride, but instead they they were on the outside looking in on the things of God, right? They they were they were utterly astounded at the presence of God, at the power of God and what had happened. And so um, here, if you look back, um, let's look back at this first one. The, the Lord is just letting us know that we as children of God, we as brides, we do not need to be judgmental of those who are in practices that they don't understand yet. They are coming into the knowledge of God and they need deliverance. They need the light shined on them. They need help because they are in darkness and they don't even realize what that means. They don't understand what things are detestable to the Lord. They don't, they have not read the full word. So they need help. They need to study their word. And so we need to be a light to them. We need to not avoid situations that seem like they're going to take our investment of our time and, and they're going to cause us to be derailed for a moment on the purposes that we have set before us we need to be about the purposes of God and we need to be about the purposes of of doing his will amen all right you guys let's pray Thank you, Father God, for showing us the way, Lord Jesus. Help your bride. Help us as we are trying to help others in this world, Lord. Help us not to be intimidated by situations, crazed demons, um, practices that are not of you, Lord God. Help us not to be intimidated by the waywardness of this world. Help us to rescue our brethren from fire. Lord God, help us to see these situations and see the hellfire that these people are being rescued from. Lord Jesus, bless these children as we are going out into this world, Lord God. Let their hearts be prepared and ready to receive deliverance, Lord Jesus, as you present it to us, Lord God. Help us follow by your Holy Spirit and not by ourselves and our own understanding. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus when he comes to redeem his church. If there is anybody out there who would like to um who would like to rededicate your heart to God, um, maybe you have been passing judgment on those who are in oppressed states. Um, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to help me to get back on track. Lord God, help me not to walk in judgment. Help me not to practice the things that I am pointing the finger at. Help me not to walk in the ways of the enemy, Lord God. Help me to be a wise bride. Help me to shine light on the darkness, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. God, be a shield over me as I go out and try to help 
those who are lost and and be a a guiding hand over me to tell me what to do in Jesus name forgive me of my sins Lord I pray amen all right you guys one of the things that the Lord wanted us to do and not forsake is the fellowshipping of ourselves one to another go out find a church home find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God as well as go out and tell other people about Christ and what he's done for you in your life amen all right, you guys, um, may the Lord. Oh, and then also go out and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. All right, you guys, be blessed.